Hi everyone, welcome back to another video here in my channel. I hope everybody had a great Christmas Eve and I hope you're having a good Christmas day if this is after Christmas. I hope you had a good Christmas. Today's video is going to be a bit different from usual. Today we're doing a gift showcase kind of thing. And before I move on, if you uh, received or know that I sent you a gift and you didn't get it and you didn't open it yet, maybe uh, don't watch it yet. Just pre open your gift first and then come back. I am making this video because I am not going to spend Christmas with everyone. So I just wanted to share my thought process in selecting your gift if you received a gift from me. I thought it would be nice to share with anyone that uh, has to give gifts to anyone for any reason. First, I will show you gifts that I bought for my family and because my family is separated into households, I will start with my mom. So over the years for my mom, me and my sister would just put money uh, for each occasion in like a savings account. And whenever my mom went on holidays, we would take that money and buy either the plane ticket, the hotel reservation or whatever. But since we stopped doing that this year, I didn't know exactly what to give to her because I haven't had to give her something for so long. But I remembered giving her some type of relaxing treatment. Here in Portugal, we have like a little booklets with a, a big amount of coupons. But I thought that was, that was not enough, right? Because when I get these booklets, with it, like it's a coupon that has the amount of money that you can go and search for a place that you might be able to spend the coupon. And it's so much work. I hate receiving those things. So I did the legwork. I, I looked for places and I called asking if they did gift coupons or whatever. And I found one. I actually went there so that the instead of having like just, you know, an email or something, they actually have a card and it, it's... It has such a, a nice package and everything. So this is uh, what I'm giving to my mom. This is the a time slot. So she just has to call and decide which massage she, want, she wants to do and just book the appointment. And that's it. Moving and on to the other household. It's the person that I think it's like the hardest one to give gifts to my dad. And over the years, me and my sister tried a bunch of things. Uh, and we came to realize that a solid gift is usually food. Because if it's good food, you will eat it and not throw it away. But so, even within food, I'm, I wasn't just going to give anything. So I went to the most famous market here in Porto. And I gathered a, a bunch of tiny things that I thought you would like and they are all like uh, made in Portugal and things like that so let's see what he thinks about it. the first thing in the pack is this uh, sea salt oh it's not sea salt it's a flower of salt I know this is the type of salt that he, he uses if he goes to the website on this store there's like salt mixed with seasoning and I was like I don't know which of these seasonings I would buy. So I just went for the, the basic one. <laughs> and then we were just walking and I saw this honey thing. It has like the comb. It's, it's adorable. And I actually don't know how much honey it consumes, but I thought it looked adorable. And whenever he needs honey, he will have honey. The last thing I got is these dried fruits. One of them. Um, I know he likes dried fruit. I didn't know specifically which dried fruits he liked, so I bought five different ones. <laughs> so that's it for my dad. Uh, there's my sister, and initially I uh, didn't know if she deserved a gift because she owes me a lot of money, but. Uh, as I was buying everyone else's gifts, it was like uh, Black Friday time. And I saw a really good sale at this shop. 
Uh, this is a cosmetic shop. And the sale was so good that I bought a couple of things for myself. And her gift was like almost free. Uh, I got her eyeliner, black, nail polish, black. And I also got her a makeup remover because... Um, I'm not sure when she has maker. I think she runs out and then she never buys it again. And now you have some. Next, for my dad's wife, I uh, I always have so many ideas of things that I could give her because she has so many different interests. I, f I think last time uh, me and my sister got together and gave her uh, a coffee making set thing. Uh, because she really enjoys coffee and then she really likes baking but I didn't know what I could give to her that would be good on that area uh, always learning new languages but I also didn't really know if I wanted to give her some something in there then I remember that she really likes going to the gym and she's very active and I thought about this this is a muscle a massager it's like a gun massager and it has some accessories and not only for her but i think everybody should have one of these these are really good and i really hope that she likes it family area is over we are moving to my best friends and i do not have a ranking of best friends they're all the number one best friend in different areas so let's divide them into areas there is my childhood best friend let's call her this person has known me for more than half of my life i think and there are some things that like we are very different and and that i always try to introduce to her it's really hard to explain so let me give you the example that took me to getting this gift um, she doesn't usually buy like high-end products like, like makeup make uh, skincare body care and stuff like that she just you know buys like most people do and I don't judge anyone that does this uh, a lot of stuff I do also buy like this and she doesn't have bad skin at all. I think she has uh, good skin. There is this brand that I love, uh, but it's really good. And whenever I buy it, my, my skin always feels like super soft and smells so good. And I really love it. And it's Lush. If you guys don't know Lush, I know that there's no store here in Porto. You have to order it online. I love Lush products. There is no words. Even if you don't, like, don't convert to use all Lush products because they are expensive, you should try it at least one time, <laughs> at least one product. I usually try to buy their exfoliating stuff because it's awesome. It's amazing. I have no words. So I really hope you like this. This... Oh, it's already it's already gift wrapped and everything and it is two bath bombs i think one shower gel and one shower something else and they're all on the lavender kind of scent i hope you like it let, let me, me know, know how your skin feels after you use it and let me know what you think about it i think next this, we have let's call it my work bff we have met at one company while we were working there and we became best friends and after that we both worked at another company which was also hilarious um and i also had like so many ideas and at the same time i would always give myself like that's a stupid present kind of thought at everything that i thought my first idea was like you constantly ask people for discount codes for like uber or similar and i'm like maybe there's a gift card for uber and it will be and it will be so useful for you um but i thought maybe maybe i could do it as a joke but then i i couldn't find any gift cards and i had to discard the whole thing after that i kind of thought uh, something for for you to put in your house like a, a nice candle or things like that because i know you have on your 
like a uh, purifier, a nice smell thingy. Uh, but then I was like, eh, that's, eh, I don't know. And then funny story about this gift. I've never heard about this type of thing uh, before. And I randomly saw it on Amazon while I was browsing. And I was like, hmm, that would be a nice gift. And, and I just bought it. Uh, I know you love like board games. We used to go to this nice cafe to play board games. And you know, it's, you like spending time with people. So I don't know if you will solve this uh on, i don't know during christmas day with like your sister and your boyfriend or something else this is like a crime scene case and uh, inside there's like clues and whatnot and together with your friends you just have to solve the mystery i thought it was so cool and i even asked you if you would prefer something in english or spanish because i couldn't find the portuguese version so this is the english version but the funny thing is that i had never heard about this before after i bought it i saw so many ads for like weeks like like every day i was getting ads for this and i was like i already bought it please stop the last gift <clears throat> Very sorry for the lower quality of video and audio here and sounding so nasally. I don't have a lot of time to film this, uh, but the last gift is for my, let's call her gamer best friend. And she's a lot like me and I gave her a list of things that I would like for Christmas and she gave me what she would like for Christmas. And I really tried getting her that. Uh, I couldn't get it online and I tried going to some local shops, but then I got a flu and I was like in bed for like four days and yesterday was the last day that I could possibly get her this thing and I was downtown and the store that I went to couldn't help me and I was like, what do I do now? And I kind of panicked. So this is what I got for her. I decided to restock her Korean spicy noodles, and I got her some of her favorite monsters. Food is the best way for me to show that I love someone, and probably the best way for you to show that you love me is buy me food. So I kind of panicked, and this is what I got. I also got these gummies. I don't know if she ever tried them, but I really like grape flavor gummies and it's not very usual flavor in Portugal. I recently found out that she likes topoki so I found out these instant topoki and I got her one too. Let's try and make a present out of this. I'm going to add a note with my Marauder's Map paper from my notebook with like with like a packy voucher for a coffee date where I pay the coffee. 